All right, guys, we finally have redemption to go camping with the Harley Street Bob. All right, everybody, what is up? What is up, as always? Thanks for stopping by to another video today. And as you can see, we have the Harley Davidson Street Bob packed up for another camping trip. We are kind of pretty much almost where we're headed to our camping spot. We're up here in the Poconos, Pocono, Pennsylvania. And it's been a pretty good trip so far. As you guys know, I'm pretty excited to be out doing a camping trip on the red Harley Street Bob. Now, last time you guys saw I had to take the Sportster because it did not start. <laughs> so, so I'm excited to get a little bit of redemption there. You guys can kind of see my travel setup here. We've got the big bag. We've got a sleeping pad. We've got the tent right here. Everything else crammed into the big black bag here that I usually travel with. So set up pretty much the same as I had it on the Sportster. Now, the Sportster you know of course has the same I've got a step up seat on that as well but the sissy bar is a little bit higher the only thing I really had to switch up here was kind of just a little bit extra bungee cords the higher sissy bar on the sports are making it a little little bit easier and stable but I just had to add a few more bungee cords to this setup this weekend so not a whole lot has changed in the setup this is gonna be a one-nighter so of course I didn't really have to bring a whole lot so we're gonna hop on the bike now we're gonna get over to the campsite talk a little bit about how the street pub has handled so far on this ride from Philly up to the Poconos. Alrighty, so we are on some lovely roads up here in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania. So, started the trip out down in Philly, of course. We took uh, 76 to 476. It was mostly highway the whole way here, which was kind of annoying. The traffic was just like absolutely terrible on 76 and 476. If anybody's familiar with those roads, man, it was just brutal. Just slow construction everywhere, like heavy volume of traffic. Definitely not what I was looking to do, but finally once we got up in here, got it opened up a little bit, finally the traffic kind of dissipated. It was kind of funny because I had pulled over for a second at a rest stop, and somehow I, I just linked up with a guy who was on a dyna. And he was heading the same direction as me. I just pulled up behind him. He looked at me, we gave a nod, and we just took off 476 for like, I don't know, 30, 40 miles. We even got off the same exit at the same time. We finally pulled over at a stop sign when we had to. And we're like, hey man, what's up? Like, you know, where are you going? Where are you headed? He was going to some music festival or something like that. <laughs> but uh, we ended up parting off our separate ways. But that's a cool thing about riding. You can just kind of like randomly link up with people while you're out on the road, follow for a little bit and then part your separate ways. So like I said, we're getting closer and closer to the campsite here and I'm probably gonna get lost because as you guys know, I don't have any GPS. I basically just looked up the route, the roads, try to remember it in my head. <laughs> we're looking for a Buck River Road right now. That's a pretty, pretty cool name of a road. That's what you kind of would expect out here in the middle of nowhere. Buck River Road to Bear Lake Road. There goes Thomas Road. I have a feeling I'm going to miss it, but anyways, we'll figure it out. So the bike is handled well, like I told you guys before. If you tuned into the last camping video, the Sportster, I had to take that up to Dingman's Ferry. And hey, listen, it was great. The Sportster handled awesome. Old faithful, old reliable, awesome ride with the Sportster. But I was really looking forward to taking the Street Bop that day, and it just didn't start. <laughs> So it turned out being a blown battery fuse. We did get it all fixed up. We got it all packed up now and we're on the street bob and the bike has been good this whole time. I mean, very minor differences with taking the street bob on this trip. Like I said, I just had to pack it up with almost the same way, just with some additional bungees. But I mean, where you notice the difference is on the highway where I did a lot of highway cruising to get up here. A little over a hundred mile trip so far, but I mean, that's just one of the really big differences you're going to know when you're doing stuff like this between the Sportster and the Street Pop. It was really just more comfortable on the highway, accelerating, highway speeds, all of that type of stuff. Not that the Sportster can't do it, but, you know, I got more space here on my legs, a little bit more comfort in the handling, the seat, all that stuff. So, just a really enjoyable ride so far with the Street Pop. Oh, there we go. They get pretty nice, and they give you the, uh, the little preemptive sign of what's coming up at the intersection here. Is this a dirt road? Oh boy. Uh 
oh, not a dirt road, but fresh oil and chips, just what I was looking for. <laughs> oh man, well this would actually be a fun road if it wasn't all tore up. But the next one we're looking for is Bear Lake Road. You gotta love the names of these roads up here, the Poconos. Man, we are in kind of the middle of nowhere it looks like right now. Oh boy, there's a deer. Watch out, buddy. Oh man, he was right in the middle of the road. <laughs> wow, luckily that wasn't really like close to him. I'm going at a pretty slow pace too because I have no idea where the hell I'm at. I only know what road I'm looking for, but finally got off that tarred and chip road back there. We're looking for Bear Lake Road, I believe. Right there, Pinchot State Forest, that's weird. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but this campsite is supposed to be in Pinchot State Forest is what we're looking at up here in the Poconos. So, oh man, seeing a deer like that, that'll give you a little, <laughs> that'll give you a little spook. Well, I mean, I wasn't even really close to that thing, but man, anytime you see that, it really makes you put your head on a swivel. Could this be it? Ah, here we go, Bear Lake Road. We found our next turn. I believe the next one is Renfer Road. Hopefully that one's easy to see too. I actually had somebody comment once on one of my videos like, oh, why would you want a street bug? No, no GPS, no uh, music, no this, no that, da da da. I'm like, I don't know, like, I, that's the, the joy of it. <laughs> don't you like just hopping on, going for a ride, and like not knowing where you're going, and just take off and maybe get lost a little bit? I mean, I, I look up directions or places that I'm going before I head out if I don't know where it is and I mean most of the times I'll stop enough times to where I can like re-look it up to refresh my memory do I get lost every now and then yeah <laughs> but I don't know I mean this is this is the bike I wanted I don't I don't need GPS I don't need a phone mount it's just not something I'm interested in I'm just happy going out and doing it the way I like to do it on this bike with none of those bells and whistles you know of course the street bob stripped down bobber style cruiser so that's the way I like to do it. Fireline Road, that's what we're looking for. I think we might have done it. Oh man. I was not planning on taking the uh, Street Bob off-roading for this trip. <laughs> oh man. So I think the, our campsite should be right up here from what they were telling me. See some cars here. And there you go. These are the dogs that I'm looking for. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, we just pulled up to the campsite. I've got my Coors Banquet ready to go before we set up the tent. Pretty good looking campsite we got going on here. We got a Jeep. We got my bike pulled up here. We got a Ford Ranger. I'm going to take a look at... I think I'm going to go ahead and probably set up my tent somewhere over there, I think. So we are going to get the Street Bob unpacked right here. We'll get the tent set up.
Alrighty guys, so we have just packed up camp and everything. We're back on some of these uh, crazy dirt roads back here on the street, Bob. Pretty good night of camping. We did take a lot of rain this morning though. Woke up about seven, it was really nice. And then it just started pouring from about eight to nine, which I hope that didn't turn some of these uh, roads here a little sketchy. So that was a good little overnight camping. Again, that was in the Pincho State Forest. So this is up by the Poconos area. If you guys have ever been up around that area, pretty cool campsite. There wasn't really many campsites, so you were able to get pretty secluded back there. Not a lot of foot traffic, not a lot of people rolling through, which is kind of nice to get, just kind of have that space to yourself, that area to yourself there, so. But yeah, just a real simple trip. Pulled in, set up, drank some beer, started a fire, cooked some food on the grill and everything. Got to sleep, woke up, dealt with the rain a little bit, but then tore it all down and we're back on the road. But we are gonna make a pit stop actually on the way back to Philly's. So what we're gonna do is since we are up in the Poconos, we are gonna take a quick scoop over to Pocono Harley-Davidson because I have actually not been to that dealership yet. I've seen it online a lot. I know a lot of people stop there. It looks like a pretty huge, massive dealership. It's one I've always wanted to get to. So that's where we're headed next. Stay tuned for that. Let me know if you guys have ever been to that dealership over there at Pocono Harley-Davidson. That's gonna be our next stop, so make sure you go ahead and stay tuned. That's where we're gonna check in next. All right, guys, so we just pulled up to Pocono Mountain Harley-Davidson. This is my first time here. Pretty excited to go in and take a look. Of course, again, we got the street bop here. One final look at the setup. It's held up well. Just left the campsite, of course, over here to the Harley-Davidson dealer. So we are gonna go into Pocono Mountain Harley-Davidson over there. Let's check it out, take a look, see what they got going on inside. So there you have it. That's gonna wrap this one up for now. That was a look inside Pocono Mountain Harley-Davidson. A little look at my overnighter camping trip at Pincho State Forest. So once again, like I said, bike held up good. I'm glad to get a camping trip in on the street bop. That was pretty cool. Bike held up great. It's running pretty good. No issues with any blown fuses at this time. So hopefully this will continue to be able to be my go-to for camping trips and some of those longer rides that I like to do. But of course, you know, we still got the sports are hanging out if we ever need to take that for a trip as well. But like I said, we're going to wrap it up for now. As always, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys ride safe out there. We'll catch you on the next one. Make it a good one, guys. It's the Moto John. We'll see you all on down the road. Peace.